Following the second round of its sham presidential election on July 5th, Iran's regime declared that Masoud Pazeshkian has been elected as president with 16 million votes against 13 million for his rival, Saeed Jalili. According to the regime, 49% of eligible voters cast their ballots in the second round of the elections. But according to a thorough monitoring of 2,000 polling stations by the supporters of the PMOI, the true turnout was around 9%, which means the decisive majority of eligible voters refused to participate in the farcical election, effectively turning it into a negative vote to the regime in its entirety. The regime tried to create the impression of crowded polling stations and long voting queues, but the reality recorded by activists and posted on social media shows empty polling stations. The regime tried to create the impression of celebrations for the candidates, but at the same time that the polls were open, people were posting images and videos of themselves, saying that their vote is regime change. But the people of Iran cast their vote even before the polls opened on Friday, July 5th. Iran's rebellious youth spread the message of Iran's restive population by setting fire to propaganda election posters, tearing apart publicity material for the election candidates, and targeting the regime's centers of repression and corruption. While some in the West have tried to celebrate the regime's new president as a moderate or reformist figure, Masoud Pazeshkian has made it clear that he is fully committed to the policies of the regime's criminal supreme leader, Ali Khamenei. And the people of Iran have also made their message clear. It is not the time for elections. It's time for a revolution. Follow the People's Jihadine Organization of Iran on YouTube, Facebook, X, and our website.